Oh, so welcome to Canada. Uh, I moved to Vancouver for the summer. So I'm doing this video on kind of like a makeshift setup in my Airbnb for the time being while I'm looking for a place to live. Anyway, can a selfie stick solve my problems with my GoPro Hero 10? First off, before we start this video, I would highly recommend that you go back and watch my review on the GoPro Hero 10. Telesyn got in contact with me and asked me did I want to take a look at one of their selfie sticks. A selfie stick? That was my first thing. I was like, I, what, what, what use would I have? Generally, I don't mind taking a look at products, but if I don't have a use for them, then I'm not going to touch them, to be honest. So what was the selling point then? The thing that pulled me in with this is that it's a battery bank as well. <laughs> So this is perfect for the use that I have on this. Um, walking shots with me, and I'm in Stanley Park right now, just going for a walk through the woods. But normally I'd have this on a little tripod, which is very similar to this. First thing I thought was, holy shit, this could solve the main issue I'm having with my uh, GoPro, and the fact that the battery life on these things absolutely sucks. And nearly every time I go to take them out of my bag, it's either accidentally turned itself on, or I've been just stuck with no battery, the battery's just drained overnight. So something that uh, definitely, definitely helps with that is having a power bank um, that you can just kind of take with you. A big plus for me, I love how portable it is. I love the fact that it'll charge my GoPro about three or four times over. So I found myself never actually having to worry about battery life on my GoPro again. So it's taken that exact thing out of it doubles as a selfie stick so you can get some interesting angles on things, push the bloody camera out to places that you wouldn't be able to normally, as well as having a tripod. But first off now, um, we're coming up to Beaver Creek I think it is, and uh, we're going to go a little walk around here and take in the scenery. Anyway, so what do you get in the box? Get the selfie stick itself with a USB permanently attached to the top end of the head so you can plug it right into whatever device is on it even when it's extended. A GoPro mount, a plastic one. You get a phone mount as well because you can just mount a phone on the end of this. GoPro door. So I don't use the door because I'm using the media mod and it's got an external USB-C port on it. But there's a door that goes over the battery compartment with a hole so you can plug a USB-C cable into it and then as well as that you get a USB-C cable for charging and discharging and it does quick charging too. So finish up, do I think this is a worthy purchase? I love the size of it, um, I like the build quality as well as that charging not just for your GoPro but there's an extra charging outlet and it does quick charging. Um, regarding things that I might change about it, like anything there are things on any product that could be better. Um, mainly for me at the minute it's this bloody thing. I don't think this should be permanently attached. Anything with a permanently attached cable is going to break eventually. That's going to come off and then kind of loses the purpose to an extent. I won't be able to use the selfie stick side of it as much. For future, other future benefits, uh, if there was some sort of control on it that could enable you to rec start recording on your GoPro or recording on your phone, that would be phenomenal, especially considering the cable's there and all, and it could just be wired into the device because it's already wired down here for the battery. So something to think on Telesyn. Uh, for me, yeah, really enjoyed it. I'll be using this. This will be in my bag for the foreseeable future as my, I suppose, permanent battery bank and uh, probably my GoPro tripod because I will be sticking a little extra tripod on the bottom so that I can just plop it down. If you did like this video, do consider subscribing. I am currently just moving in uh, Vancouver still, so hence the white background space. I've just been packing up in the room that I'm in at the minute because I'm moving out of here tomorrow. I'm moving to my more permanent situation for the next few months. If you did enjoy it, like and subscribe. I do have uh, another video coming. Next video should probably be about some photography in downtown Vancouver as well as this little 16 to 28 Sigma lens that I've uh, recently picked up just before I left and I've been absolutely loving uh, having a wide angle lens for my Sony. 